Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. Portia is doing some fake... Bakery fraudulent fuckery foolishness. Okay, and it must stop. Alright, it must stop. And welcome everybody to Dale Chanel's 48th World, where we talk about celebrities and anybody we pretty much want to talk about. And the reason why is because I can can and I can can, I can can, I can can, and I will. Now tonight we're gonna to be discussing Portia Williams and her glorified boyfriend, Father Time. And we're trying to figure out who is using facetunes and when i mean facetunes i'm talking about alterations on what you really look like See, that's what simon really looks like okay i edited it i mess with that's him all day every day this is how the lord made him but portia likes to tinkle with the little facetunes now if Fallon can deal with father time's face why can't Portia deal with Father's time face? And see, that is the real face of Simon Gabadio. Nothing new, nothing strange about it. Just he looks like he be put out of pasture, basically. Okay? I don't know if he had a hard life. He said he had a good life, but I don't know. Because those aesthetics are not really saying that. Saying the opposite is what it really is. See, that's what he really looks like. That's what he looks like. Portia would have us to believe he looks another total different person. And that's him. That's what we're looking at. That's what he's giving us. Then we're going to start seeing some pictures where, um, yeah, Portia messed with his facial image because she didn't like what she was looking at, which is that man right there. That's what he actually looks like. And it's funny how Fallon can love the man. And all his flaws. Okay. I ain't gonna say he's no ugly man, but he ain't no best looking man either. Okay. But she didn't change anything about him. Even though she could have. I know she knows about face tunes and stuff like that. But she wanted to love him in his way and how he is. But that's the real sign there. So when Portia came along and got in his life, she wanted to change him. Now, you see, the change of a facial expression. Ooh, child, that's face tunes. That's not what Simon looks like. That's what Simon looks like. You can see those are two different pictures. Ooh, and maybe he never put on that pinstripe suit again. But that was auto-tuned a little bit. Or she got herself, she used auto tune for herself as well. Now you see how that previous picture don't look like this man's picture right here. Because that's what he really looks like. But Portia won't give us that. Mm -hmm. That's what that joker really looks like. But on this picture, he kind of camouflaged it again. And you can tell because of the structure. That's what he really looks like. Okay? All tired, all dry, all, all worn out, and need to be dating somebody in his age group. But we're gonna digress from that. And the next picture should show up. You see how that? You see how that did that, y'all? That's called face tune. Okay, where you put the aesthetics how you want them to be, not necessarily how that person is. Yes, one of my YouTube family members hooked me to this. And this shit about a wife isn't a girl who just smokes and has sex with you whenever. A wife is a woman who motivates you and makes you whatever. Okay, 
identify that mess because she ain't talking about Portia. Of course, she's vain as hell. And she's only with him. And I know he knows in his heart of hearts, she is only with him because of his stack. And the little money he do have, she wants something of it, okay? That's how Diamond's face. You can really see how it's just put on there. It's almost like a green screen, you know what I'm saying? Where you make stuff be in the back of you or in the front of you, but it's really not there. And then she did it again on that picture. He hates the way he looks. Okay, she even face tuned that a little bit. Because that's not him. That's not what he truly looks like. That's what he really looks like. He looks tired, old, and through. And in that order. And see, she face tuned that one. She didn't like what she saw, so she dimensioned it again. She did the same thing here with that. I know. So, I mean, of course, she does it to herself because she has a little pudge. She has a little boy. You're right. That's your choice. You're making him over. You are making the brother over. Of course, she does uh, body images touch up as well because she has a little, ooh, little stomach pouch. But when you see some of her pictures, her stomach is flat as a board. Okay, and that's another picture of. Uh, at Simon, like I just placed her face on him on top of his real face. That's called photoshopping. And that's what Portia does. And I'm like, yeah, there's another Photoshop picture as well. Why are you marrying somebody that you obviously don't like looking at? Okay? Because that's not his face. It's not his face at all. And one day, see, that's the real Simon. An auto tune or face tune, uh, Simon Gabadi, because he was shown on the Real Housewives of Atlanta, and that's exactly what he looked like. But Portia sent us out pictures. She's gonna face tune that and make it who we, who, however she wanted to be. She's gonna change the eyes. She's gonna change the nose. She's gonna change the cheeks. She's gonna change the smile because she's all about that vain type of living and lifestyle. Okay. She even, she's not even happy with herself. She can't even wear her real hair for a good six months. She always got to throw the long hair that she definitely didn't grow normally. But she wants the long hair. See, that's straight up. That's all they soon right there, too. You can tell it. And you can tell it with that, too. I'm like, girl, why are you doing all of this? He's, if you don't love him for who he is, you shouldn't be with him. Face tune that one as well. Mm hmm. You can't strike Sue, so ain't doing nothing. But that is him. How he was born into the world, how he's gonna leave out this world. That's him. He's hard to look at. I know, I know, I know, I know. And some people might say I'm hard to look at too. But it's just really what your answers. But see, she face tuned that one, but it's like, I don't know. I, I called it shape shifting, like some people said. Rap killing. You just don't know anymore. You'll be very surprised who really runs this world. You all would be surprised. Check out the Simpsons. Might give you a clue. Now, it's that hard looking. Ooh, I mean, it's like double horns. Yeah, it's, it's oh, ooh, how can I? Like something is stuck in the middle. You got like two. I don't know. I don't know. It got an egg shaped head. Like, ooh, I wish she could have grown the hair to hide them dents. But, gotta make it do what it do, right, people? Gotta make it do what it does. I was just shocked. I couldn't believe that Portia would change somebody's appearance because she was pleased with what she saw. And that's face tune as well. She probably straightened down the body as well. If, you know, we're putting in past her. I don't know why Simon you know, does going on the beach with a uh, cigar. I don't know why people be walking in the sand with just their feet. That sand is so nasty. Now you see that Simon right there? If Fallon can put up with his not so attractiveness, why can't Portia? He's always doing something. Change of his appearance, 
to make him look better than what he's been looking like. Okay? Like, she don't took him on as a project, not necessarily, you know, as a mate that she chose to live the rest of her life with. Because he damn sure don't look like that. But like I said, Portia, she does her little touch ups with the camera, and she does it on him. And that's a damn shame. Living too vain of a life. But I just don't understand. One woman can accept him and all his flaws and unattractive group. Why can't Portia? Because sometimes a person's not necessarily aesthetically optically attractive. But they just have a beautiful soul or beautiful spirit about them and their character. And it makes up for what was given to the appearance of that person. And you can fall in love that way. Or if you don't like the way the uh, father time looks. And she wants to get into a bank account. Because she can't go back and say, ooh, I was wrong. Ooh, no, he's not going to spend the rest of his life with me. And I'm not going to do it. Nah, she's too prideful for that. She can stay in it. Because she thinks she's winning it. Sad, 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 sad. State of events. That's all I got for this video, guys. Hopefully, y'all like it, love it, and y'all want to have more. And you know I can bring you more. But I am signing off on this video. And do your own little, you know, touches here and there. Group for him. Put up his name and see those pictures. That's what Simon really looks like. The other pictures that I showed you that Portia touched over, yeah, <laughs> she did that for Mr. Simon's body. He should be having a conversation with her about why she needed to do that. So, she's giving him a guilt complex when she got one. Ooh, double trouble, I tell you. Double trouble. But I will see y'all next video. Take it easy. Bye.